previously on A Little Dangerous. The two of them. Target destroyed. Oh dear. Ooh, that's new. Hello. Um. <laughs> ah, looking rather splendid tonight, I must say. Uh, how are how are things? Hey there, listeners. This is Clark Barrow, hottest pilot in the Pleiades, bringing you a slice of life from the frontier of space. Oh yeah, God, it's a podcast. There's um, those pips before. Much rather fun. Look at me making rational decisions. Yes. Whoa. Blimey. Flight control is in operation at this point. No, 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 Ooh, we're back on the counter. That's clever. That's progress. Yeah, just another five minutes. It's fine. It's fine. It'll play out and we'll be... We'll be no, we're not going to do that. Hello, 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 hello. And welcome to another inciting installment of A Little Dangerous Benign. With me, your host and co-pilot, Commander Jack Little. Ah, welcome, 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 welcome. Uh, let's see, Jean Bellow, welcome. M. Curtains, welcome. Oh, uh, M. Curtains, us right off the back. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, what needs to happen for it? Emotes to happen. I need to get off my bottom. That's what I need to do. Yes, I've not quite decided um, yet what to do vis-a-vis uh, -vis the emotes. But definitely with with as many as three subscribers, I need you need to. Put uh, put some plans into action. But now is not emotes. Now is stream. And here we are with um, where are we? Some old rules. I think we can clear those. Can we? And um, yes. And here we are, parked up on some sort of some sort of ball of mud. Ah. Uh, I think the gimp's been playing again. What have we got? We have... Oh, we're in Desiat. We've got somebody behind us. Who's that? A Type 9 Heavy. And... Uh, oh. We've got some, some gubbins. Sure where all of this has come from. But there's an occupied escape pod in there, so I think we should really do what we should do and hand it in. I'm very curious about this fellow. Frame shift charge detected. Oh. oh, I see, Jim. Hi, that is it. Well, perhaps we will never know. Let's go to Ganae Terminal and hand this chap in. Sell off our wares. Who is there again? Who is there? What are you, man? What are you? Oh, you're clean. Well, they're not worth my time then, are you? Oh. Not that I feel I'm quite ready to go. Uh. Whoa. Toe to toe with a, even a Type 9, really. In this crate. Not that it is a crate. Crate with a C, obviously. Ah. So, how are you both, MC, JB? What now? How now? 
I have largely been, uh... Four, three, two, one, well, I've, I've largely been evaporating. That's what I've been doing. Ooh! Also, and we don't have to stick with this, but... Um, where are we? Here we go. Um, this might be a thing. Oh. Bit loud. Turn it down a bit. There we go. Oh. So yes, we've uh, we've brought in pretzel platform. So I've had issues, you see, with uh, doing my music because I'd like to. Um, Oh dear, this is terrible. I feel like I have to talk in rhythm. That's no good. Uh, I just don't have the flow. M Curtain. M Curtain's right. Today's been a hot run. Hot Pokemon Go, hot Formula One, and hot Switch so far. Oh yes, um, I understand from Twitter that uh, some sort of limited edition Squirtle was available. Uh, Squirtle. Gene Below is super hot. Mostly due to playing super hot VR. I like this. I might give it a thumb up. Yes. You see, I've wanted, I've wanted to have music, but um, the problem is, you see, you know, I also want people to get paid if they want to get paid. Ooh, and Curtains obtained the special Squirtle and the shiny Squirtle. Grown men. <laughs> I, I tease, I tease, MC. Tunes indeed. So, we'll drop off this space pod at Gare without delay. do four things at once. Who can say? Sparky, welcome. Friend of the stream. Moderator. Yeah. Now we're cooking. MC's a moderator too, don't forget. Yeah. Yeah, Gene, that was... Uh, Oh, that was tricky. It was so tricky. I might have to emotionally reflect on that for a little while. Yeah. I was called on to do something, and I'm not sure if I managed it. Uh, well, let's see how we go. How are you, Orange Spark? Of course, this being a, a system with an engineer in, we're rather uh, spoiled for hollow pips on the old sensors there. Bum, bum, bum. This is very similar, isn't it? Ooh. Oh, there we go. Snuck in. 274 kilometers. Possibly a record. Uh, Super Cruise. Oh, there we go. That was tense. Oh, jolly good. Sparky, are you, um, uh, you're picking up, uh, blueprints and ting or um, have you got everything you need you're just doing some science uh, nice slow tune for a nice slow dock lovely Ooh. now it's a little thing but I do rather wish that... 
101 was the speed limit, other than 100. Got my first Guardian blueprint last week, very happy with it. Was it the FSD? Seems to be the one to go for, first and foremost. Oh, Gene Bellow, I will, I will, um, I will see what I can do about that. Oh yes, I found, in fact, a uh, little peek behind the curtain, but I do, um, I do those in, uh, in Blender. And I've only just recently discovered how to, how to change the sound on Vin, so I can, uh, Oh, yes, I've only just recently discovered how to turn down the volume there. Commander. Enom. Enom. Says I'm scanning for wake for engineer. That's nice. You know. Peek behind the M curtain. Yes, you'll see uh, Freckly there, according to the song, I think. <laughs> for behind every great man, etc. Oh. Is the music level okay, by the way? I've only got sort of the sound of my voice in my head to go by. Um, yes. Oh, we're here to do stuff, aren't we? Let's do that stuff. Oh, yes, I remember now. Yes, off stream. In fact, um, if you were early enough to catch the, uh, the clock there, um, that was filmed whilst we were having a little bimble about in an SRV for thrills and giggles. And uh, we had one of those situations where they'd uh, spawned a load of uh, cargo in an uh, in a trespass area. The trespass area was on a slope, so all of the cargo had rolled downhill, allowing us to uh, collect it with no hint of danger. And, um, yes, and then we sort of parked up on the high ground and shot some, well, first of all, we shot five minutes of the, of the end card yeah, that was exciting. We realised that would make a very boring and confusing clock. So then we did it properly. Recorded five minutes of game footage. Much better system. What I should thank as well, um, at the top of the show, uh, the voice. Did, did anyone did anyone identify the voice of the previously on reel? Uh, I gave a clue in the in the Twitters. Yeah. Oh. Sparky, there's always the VOD. There's always the VOD. Um. Where's me chat? There you are. Oh. Now, what are we up to today? Oh yes, now. What? Seven escape pods and five limpets. Thereby hangs a tale. Yeah, so what um, uh, what Pretzel platform is, is basically it's a load of uh, um, music that the creators... Oh dear. Mm. That's a cool chap. Yes, it's a lot of music put together by um, people who've essentially donated it to the stream for exposure and whatnot. And... Uh, It's uh, freely used with attribution in chat. So that's what we're doing. It's 
spread the love. Yes. Spread the love. Oh dear, it's happening again. Mm. What do we want? Contacts. There we go. Search and rescue. Occupied space pods. Ooh. That's quite healthy. Oh, no, yet. Yeah. Sadly, uh, M curtains, it's actually quite tricky. Ooh. It's quite tricky to do, uh, to create. You can't just sort of go in and uh, skim through tracks. As far as I can make out, you have to basically be listening. And on listening, um, attach stuff to a playlist and then use the playlist. So I've, I, at some point, possibly, possibly a week after next, Ooh, hello. Lovely. Yes, I'm going to have this. I'm going to be working to the music, I think, and creating. Thank you, MC. Thank you. That's my little victory, victory dance. I'm, uh, I'm still working on it. It's a shame, shame we can't see the footwork actually because it's very intricate. Yeah, thank you, Eugene Bello. So, we have five limpets. I think. I think we're going to do the decent thing. And kill some survivors. Right in saying that Broker is uh, one below Elite, so that's that's exciting. It's not it's not by a long chalk, but you know, we've got to keep on keeping on, haven't we? Yeah, it's like I always say: in order to get rewards, you got to put the work in. Yeah. Yeah, that's what you gotta do. Because free lunch on a silver platter, well, that ain't lunch at all. That ain't free at all. Sooner or later, the man is gonna come asking. Yeah. Well, um, M curtains, according to law, when your ship's in trouble, you get squirted out like a little owl pellet. Except it's not an owl pellet. It's a, um, it's an, it's a, it's an escape pod. And, um, yes, it is a bit sheen below. Um, but I, you know what? I'm fine with that, yeah. I think that's a pretty good idea, you know. Just go with the flow. It'll be cool, yeah. See what life throws at us. It'll be fantastic. <clears throat> well, yeah, could be in front of a live studio audience. Uh, right, where was I? Oh yes, so, the skate pods get sent out by ships in distress. And if you fudge up, scooping them, bump into them a couple of times, and they go bang. Yeah. And whoever's inside, well, if you excuse the expression in curtains, it's curtains. And, um, well, when they get jettisoned from this here science vessel, they tend to go at quite a speed in front of a live studio audience. And the chance of bumping is high. Of 
thought I could get collected and put controller, but uh, where's the fun in that? <laughs> Also, it's a very difficult ethical area. Um, the ethics of uh, risk involved with saving people. In fact, we're not sure. Do we know? Do we know if they've got all of the footballers out yet from the cave? Because that's that's quite the example, really. You know. Oh, good. You never know what you get when you get here. Sometimes it's a Thargoid. Sometimes it's no one at all. Sometimes... Four out of the cave. Four out of eight. Oh, four out of eight left stuck. Yeah. But that's sort of... What are you doing? That's sort of case in point. Is um, where you had like a very risky way of getting them out. But the requirement to get them out, well, obviously, doing nothing carries a risk, and getting them out carries a risk, and you have to balance the risks. Oh, yes. Thank you. Well, absolutely, MC. Hello. Oh. So, I think there's a bit of a dice roll here having done this before a couple of times. Um, yep, got that. Thank you. This is the nervous bit. the fire. Well done. I admire your survival instincts. No oh dear, he's looking a bit unscoopable. Oh, the fire actually diminished slightly. Maybe they're trying to put it out. Yes, it was. Um, it was, of course, uh, the lovely Bog Nogus at the start of the street stream. There, I feel slightly guilty. I, I um, he sent me the the necessaries a long time ago, and then I've not really done a um, a G below. Is that is that is that legal? Just trying to work out if that's a better return on my investment. Ooh. sort of family. Quite sweet in a way. Not unlike the ending of um, the John Carpenter uh, directed film of a Dan Bannon script. Um, Dark Star. Yeah. 
I won't say quite why it's like the ending, in case you haven't seen it. Not that plot is really much of an issue in that film. But uh, that's very striking similarity. There we go. Really? Over there? Hang on. As you wish. How long do these things live? Can you go a little faster? I think I'm getting used to the music now. I was touch and go there for a while. I've always been like that. You know, I'm in a tune in my head and it just sort of takes over me programming. Oh. Really? They're all vastly ensnared, I think they are. Oh no, this one's okay. This is a bit, um, a bit tedious though, isn't it? Oh dear. M. Curtin says he might get a new carpet with that green pattern. Do, um, did they do that there? What did they do that there? We'll do it that way then. It'd be lovely if, if it's available. Possibly the, uh, uh, the Frontier merch store is missing a trick there. Yes. Don't, 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 don't go away. Oh dear. Possibly too fast there. Oh no. We're fine, we're fine. Fast enough. <coughs> oh dear, that's a shame. What are the chances of that happening? We're exploding just as we get within 50 feet of it. your ears popping because of the uh, change in pressure in the cabin or something. Yeah. Perhaps the heat is getting to you. Hmm. You considered that? Yeah. This looks a little safer. Oh, what on earth? Maybe you get the feeling of something desperately wrong with your systems. It wasn't like an A grade cargo scoop, is there? Strange at the end there. 
Ooh, and curtains has brought a new carpet. I mean, orange spark. Sorry, getting me, getting me mod mods in a muddle there. Markings, Sparky. Is it a nice deep shag? Speaking of nice deep shags, actually, um, I came up with a joke earlier, which I'm going to inflict on you. It's quite a good joke. You'll find it hilarious. You might not. Um, oh, come on, come on. Yeah, thank you. What part of the central heating do uh, elite players like the most? That's what part of the central heating does elite players like the most? That's the joke. There's a punchline coming soon. Which part of the central heating do elite players like the most? No, it's not the heat sink. That's not what I think. Anyway, have another go. what it was that would be a spoiler so have another go which part of the central heating do elite players like the most It's a giggle. Ah. It's a loss of earnings. Oh, and curtains pilot light. Ah, your humor's tight, but it's not the answer on the card. No. Maybe I've made it too hard. Consider it though, which part of the central heating do elite players like the most? No idea how long this track is. Oh, and I'm running out of rhymes. So we're running out of time. Oh. Oh dear, we've got 20 seconds left, so I'd better tell you, and you're not going to like it, not really, but the best part of the central heating system, according to elite players, is the immersion. <clears throat> there we go. That all happened. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, oh come on, Gene Below. That was a perfectly adequate pun. What are we looking at? Polymers. <laughs> oh. oh, now Sparky. Don't be like that. Besides, I think uh, I think Terry might be reversing Article 50 in the not too distant future. Oh dear, I don't think this uh, music's very fitting for scoopage. Let's get these souls returned and think of something else. <coughs> Excuse me. Right. Back to Gare. Thank you, Jean Below. Oh, take care, Jean Below, and thank you for tuning in. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Hello, sailor. Really need to get my salutes fixed. Yeah. Ugh. Oh yes, what did you uh, put that away? Uh. Oh, that's also needs to go away. There we go. It's a terrible thing. I often forget that. Um, even non-weapons, uh, they're still hard points when it comes to it. And require stowing before we uh, go into Super Cruise. As if we go into Super Cruise. Come on, little server. There we go. Oh. So yes, my scooping skills, uh, certainly in this situation, don't really uh, stand up to scrutiny, which is a shame. Certainly a shame for the uh, chaps that I popped. Very embarrassing if you pop a chap when you're trying to save them. Because, I mean, strictly speaking, you know, they're fine. You know, they can drift around in space for oh, 57 years. Before getting picked up and sold into servitude. They'd been fine. Now they are space dust. Never mind. It's probably what they would have wanted. So how are we doing? Twenty minutes. Oh. Check of me modules, because I'm sure there was a reason we came here. Possibly, possibly to have another look at me FSD on this thing. Which I think at the moment... Ooh, I want is... Uh, not amazing. It's good, it's good, but it's not amazing. So we'll have to see about that. Yes, I've got a I've got a bad habit of uh, not a bad habit really, but I need to I need to filter my funny a little bit when I'm watching other people's streams, not not for any um, you know not for any reason. Generally, if I'm 
I feel like it's a contribution, you know, when I do it. And I'm not, if I'm honest, I'm not, I'm not a big enough streamer to uh, overshadow anyone. I'm a little streamer, clues in the name, but, um, If I keep my powder, powder dry. Landing authorized. Proceed to landing pad one one. I can use it in here, can't I? Yeah. I could use it in both, I suppose. Oh, this is pretty. Oh, throwing a beat down on it. Nice. drivers <sighs> oh, there we go no one died <laughs> you're telling me you're telling me oh, it's the least useful insight there from uh, flight control Piano is reminding me a little of um, uh, I'm in the mood for romance simply because you are near me. Yeah, it's reminding me of that. Also, uh, a little bit of Blue Moon, yeah. You saw me standing alone without a care in the world. Without a love of my own. Right. I think we picked up one ton of something and one material. Oh. Yeah, so not really been. I've been coping with the heat. But um, mainly by expending no energy. Oops. Let's get these people home. There we are. Hmm. M. Curtin's right. If I was designing a multi billion credit space station, I'd have an indoor and an outdoor. That's a fine, it's a fine idea. Yeah, sensible idea. Now, where are we? 17 minutes, so, um, don't think rules. Oh yes, that's what I was gonna do. Let's slip into outfitting for a moment. Yeah. Um, cause I think I can squeeze some more fun out of me FSD, possibly. Picked up some stuff, but I don't know if it's the right stuff. Um, where's that gone? There it is. Oh, it's only a B. Well, very poor. I can't see that because of the where my webcam is on the screen is different to where you see it. do have a 5A for 5 mil. Hmm. How 
How's that? Yeah. I can afford it. Yeah. I've got the money. Okay, I can do that here. Let's do this in the system map. It's slightly easier on my neck. Yeah. There we are. You're in here somewhere. Ah, old, old guy gamer too. Welcome to the stream. Hey Jack, I thought you were flying around with Colo and Moo. Oh, I, well, I was watching earlier. I wasn't actually in game, sadly. That was um, uh, JJ Smashing Pumpkins, I think, was uh, was there. And uh, Millstone Barn, friend of the stream, he was there too. You know, I was just I was just heckling from the side, like the grumpy old man I am. Orange, We're detecting a little, a little envy there. That was a lovely, lovely, very, very heartwarming stream. Got me, got me right in the feels. It did. I don't, I don't, I don't mind admitting. <laughs> uh, melted my heart a little. <laughs> Please ignore my ribbing, Sparky. secret. When I started this stream, I made a conscious decision to start in open. Oh, they took the Explorer DBX to a hazardous. How did she fare? Oh, hang on. I'm trying to think what they were flying. Walkers, wasn't it? Because pretty yeah. Winging up in a Hazrez is pretty, pretty good, pretty fun for credit. Oop, landing gear. Um, M curtains, Orange Spark, one of you. Oh, hang on, I should say, shouldn't I? Uh, I'll let Orange Spark do it. I think there was a cool down anyway. What was I hoping playing in open? Well, pretty much what we got, which was uh, that, that we wouldn't really get any trouble. So playing in open has a bit of a reputation. A suggestion that uh, it's a foolhardy pursuit. Lie in ruin. Lie in ruin. We'll bring in ruin. There's a verb there, and it's related to ruin. I'm not sure what it is. No rhymes. I tell you, I see my flows. My flows dreadful. Yeah, yeah. Very dreadful. It's either there or it isn't. Let me have a think about it. Not too long. No, hostile's a tough thing to rhyme with, isn't it? Dan rhyme anything with gank. Um, what else is there? PvP. That might be a goer. Mm. Yeah. It's the fear. Fear of PvP that makes them flee to the PG or solo. 
which is so low. Combat Wombat. Yes, that's not useful, then, Curtains, because we rarely come across Wombats in space. But I'm going to put it down in the list anyway. What have we got? PvP. Oh, we've got... No, we crossed Gank out, didn't we? Um, uh, anyway, yes. So, fundamentally, NSR2, welcome to the stream. Do help yourself to a, um, a frozen milk pop. Uh, or a Ben and Jerry's tabet of your choice. Old Guy Gamer says to me, if you want at least better than fair with combat, like me, less than fair, you should run in solo or private until you get good. What I find, I find generally, because I, I love the social aspect of this game, uh, even just then, you know, even just sort of the hollow pips on the sensors you know and um, I love all that and I'd miss it I'd miss it I think in certainly in solo and uh, I was a bit late to the party on getting into Mobius which I think would be my uh, place of choice so I just went straight into open I thought well let's see how let's see how things play see what happens and uh, so far I have been ganked no times. I've been stream sniped no times. So, um, basically, I feel I feel richer for having played in open, you know, which is not to say, obviously, playing in, in open is for anyone. And obviously, I am uh, have a certain playing style which tends to put me away from things like community goals and whatnot. Yeah, I think it's real sort of testament to what Sparky's saying is that the uh, there's a tendency for people to uh, to get griefed and then complain about griefed on forums, and that sort of magnifies the perception of the griefing. And you know, this saying from somebody who has another account in which he has certainly been griefed. So uh, you know. I felt it seemed it seemed more appropriate for the stream for the stream to take place in open. I loved me some combat. I ain't never seen no wombat. Yeah. Had me a firefight. Um didn't quite go right. Marsupial will recoup you all. <clears throat> but there isn't one in sight. I think we got there. I think we got there in the end. I should probably take this planetary landing a bit more seriously, shouldn't I? Oh. I don't die because I pilot right. Unless someone blows out your pilot light. Ooh, 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 callback. Marvellous. Do love a callback. Uh, old Guy Gamer 2 writes, I got exploded on the way back from, from Colonia before I could turn in export data. That, that hurts very much. That, oh dear, that's just that. What's he mean? But no, I can, I can absolutely, uh, yes, see how that would, um, put a hole in one's game somewhat let's try this again no oh, 854 blimey we need up tempo music all of this sort of uh, you know jazz hip hop fusion we seem to be styling tonight possibly slowing me down <laughs> not that I mind it's entertaining, I hope. Oh. Drive 
I think possibly that's another thing as well. Is that, um, yeah, what one's doing carries a different level of risk, isn't it? So for me to sort of bimble around in a ship with a rebuy of less than a million, and it's obviously a different proposition to uh, somebody returning from a several hour long journey with millions and millions of exploration data stuffed in their backpack. And then they get attacked. Run out of flak. Bang out of luck. And then they're stuck. That could have, that could have been worse. They're in a hearse. Sling the hook, take a look at Solo or Mobius. There's a load of us. Juliet Alpha Charlie, PVE. Automated flight control routine. You will Please see. observe docking protocols. Whoa. Where are we? Three and a half. No, I cannot dock with the uh, with Commander. This is this is a tyrant. Access granted. Proceed to landing oh pad zero eight. Ah, yes, sort of M curtains, uh, revealing to us the the flip side of the same coin, which is of course that uh, if you've got a ship that you can get out of dodge in. And again, the risk is, is less. I think... The old guy gamer gets into open every once in a while and board hopping and forget I'm in open. Oh dear, yes. I suppose that's the risk of it. I don't think I've, uh, I don't think I've board hopped yet. So I take this game at rather a slow pace, as you possibly uh, have realised. Touchdown complete. Engaging ship restraints. Your arrival has been noted. Really? Oh dear. See the range going up, please, for info. Oh, yes, sorry. Should have done that before. Uh, let's have a look. <laughs> Damn you, chat lag. Oh, no, not what we should do. Well, I think we have already. Um, thank you, Sparky. Plus credits. Well, I think that might be what we do next uh, next stream. Then, Sparky, thanks for the, thanks for making that happen. Unless, of course, you know the bubble burns while we're off air. Yeah. What was I going to do? Engineers workshop. FSD select. Oh, it's already pinned. What a maroon. Right. 
Stop. Just, just oh, calm down, man. Uh, let's see. Function. Thirty-two point four six. So yes, time is once again beating us. I think so. Let's uh, let's see what's happening in the world of Twitch. Oh, Colo is still on. I think it's going to have to be Colo. Oh, so we're just going to prepare a little raid for her. Sorry if I'm sending you all, not sorry, really, sending you all back there again, but uh, thank you very much for joining me. Uh, warm welcome to all Guy Gamer 2. Um, and Jean Bellow, who is uh, shuffled along. And thanks, warm thanks to Orange Spark and M. Curtains for modding me. And Curtains, safe there to remind us that uh, our raid phrase is Jack Little Raid Phrase. Guy Gamer. He and the while I was watching a bloke this morning when his SRV was introduced. He bought one and went exploring. Just got back to the bubble last month. So something like real time of almost three years. Good lord. I don't think I could play that, to be honest. Well done, that guy. Oh, um. Yes. And lastly, never leastly, thank you to Mr. Steve Kirby for making me the man I am today. Yes. So. Until we meet again, ah, fly safe, and I shall see you in the black.